This is what's wild in New Hampshire by wildlife biologist, Eric Corp. Hey, did you just see that? <laughs> did I catch it? Well, first of all, this is the last day of August. Huh, summer months. June, July, August, yes. August is a summer month. September, not so much, is it? No, well, a couple of things here. These leaves were not here yesterday. And the shadow. <laughs> I stepped out on my deck an hour or so ago, and a shadow flashed across this deck. And up in the sky <laughs> was a vulture, a turkey vulture, I guess. And I decided to come out and visit my neighbors today to see who was here. It's really, we're really drifting into fall today. Last day of August. <clears throat> Beautiful, cloudless sky. Wind out of the north, northwest to a degree. According to my, <laughs> up there, it's my, uh, my bat weather vane. Yeah, I was the Batman in New Hampshire for a long time, and I had myself a bat weather vane made decades ago. It stood the test of time. So, yeah, shadow. So, if you want to know what's going on, Pay attention to shadows. <laughs> They'll tell you who's overhead. You just got to be look up quick when you see a shadow. So, yes, watch the shadows. Oh, look at that. That's a butterfly. Yeah. So, <clears throat> September. <laughs> September tomorrow. Yes, opening day of the bear season. But September it typically is the month of a big transition. Frost. Frost comes most years in September. And I just looked it up, New Hampshire, central New Hampshire, Concord. The dates for a likely frost are September 6th to June 6th. <laughs> and the last decade, it, I should note, the frost have been coming later. I used to go away the first week of September to a fur bearer conference, and I would be sure to leave a sheet nearby the cherry tomato plants on the north side on the south side of my house for my wife to cover and while I was gone if there was a frost but uh, frost and now most likely coming in later September so our growing season is kind of about 120 days here in central New Hampshire from September 15th to May 15th is typically the frost free time here in central New Hampshire so we're Never can tell. <laughs> of course, this winter, this spring, May 8th was that crippling frost, that hard frost that killed off virtually all of our apples. We have an appleless New England, apple, uh, certainly a peachless and pearless and somewhat appleless, appleless <coughs> New England in New Hampshire this year because of that late hard frost. May 18th, I think it was. So, yeah, just looking at the sky. Now, a few minutes ago, I had, in a half hour's time, six vultures go over. They seem to be restless today. Three of them are going south, and three of them are going north. So, And they're not very high. They Typically, when they migrate south, you'll see the, the vultures pretty high up, circling. And that's what, that was not happening today. They were not that high up, and they just seem to be restless. Restless vultures today. And well, vultures begin southward migration. In August, as do other things. In fact, the other day I was talking with the local dairy farmer, Stu Yetton. So oh, the uh, the barn swallows left the other day. He says on a given year he can just about mark the calendar that the barn swallows will show up on April 26. I think he said April 26 to his barn, and they leave. I think he said August 24th. He can just about write it on the calendar ahead of time. Oh so, yes. Farmers, our local farmers, they know what's wild. If you want to know what's wild in your town, make sure you know your local farmer. And don't forget to support them and buy local if you can. But uh, your farmers are watching the fields and crops by the day. Like the trappers that I've mentioned before, trappers are, if you want to know what's going on in, in your town, in your area, talk to the local trapper. They know exactly what's going on as do the farmers. So pay attention to our trappers and our farmers. If you really want to know what's going on in your town, be sure to get to know your local trapper and your local farmers and <clears throat> support the farmers in your communities. So yeah. So uh, it's been a while since I've seen the last vulture. Well, they were here for about a half an hour. I had restless 
vultures here in central New Hampshire. Beautiful, perfect, perfect day today. And I'm taking advantage of it by just being outside and trying to absorb what's here. In fact, I, I put my Merlin app on hoping to see who was here for birds. I've seen a few flit around. <coughs> and I think it was two minutes time that I listened with a Merlin. Not one bird call. So our birds... You know, the, the life is now draining from New Hampshire. Lots of birds are migrating, including our, some of our vultures, although some will overwinter, according to the uh, National Audubon site, or Mass Audubon, I guess I looked up. They do have some wintering vultures in Massachusetts and likely some here, but the majority go south to Central and South America, like so many of our birds. They go, they go to another continent for the winter. Can't blame them at all, I guess. You gotta eat. Hopefully there's plenty down there for them to eat. So yeah, today, August 31st, 2023, we have restless vultures in the skies above central New Hampshire. <laughs> what a gorgeous day. If you haven't been outside today, you are making a mistake. Get outside, look up at the sky, look for shadows for sure, and uh, enjoy the day. <laughs> it's a perfect day if you're not outside. You are messing up today. Get outside today, the last day of August, and enjoy what's wild in New Hampshire.